after Easter 2023 with the love locks in Sunning Hill. Rough cut photo trail and video clips. Robin's Corner, QR code has been updated, something we won't sign out. Warning sight about our cats, our cat Toadie and the cat from opposite. Yeah, other things here. One of the trackers, that's the SATCOMS tracker being checked out for Snoopy's robot boat. Robin's Corner, where GPS was tested from the late 1980s, down to a bit of garden sculpture that June gave Robin for last year's birthday present. A lot of repetition here. Some people have seen this stuff before, others haven't. June's car and my car recently changed for another old car um, but I won't be having much use of it for a while because uh, my license has been taken away <laughs> it's all in the public domain mistakes and I can tell from the light that Toadie's here hello Toadie trying to get a bit of sleep yeah, that's appeared in other things. A recent little project completed. Accommodation for Bentley from opposite when he chooses to come over. Armed from ice everywhere. And this little switch operated light enables us to know that Toadie's there. Quite useful at night. And a lot of repetition here. Coming to their front door, Snoopy's robot boat, skippered by Snoopy the Viking that's survived over six weeks at sea last year. And water got in and that tracker doesn't work and that's been replaced by the one there. Battle damage, June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it but the wall is okay. That was the camper used to take Snoopy's robot boat down to the coast. Lots of warning signs about cameras inside and outside the house. And you have to read the small print carefully about water squirters. All a matter of health and safety. And we have not back long from a little trip out. June took Robin in watching tennis a call just for a change, having a snack. Kitchen in a much better state than it was for the last couple of years. All of this has appeared on other photo trials but this is for the few people that won't have seen these videos before. Lots of tidying up needed. Samantha would normally be working here, but she's off today on holiday. Lots of stuff has got to be cleared out of the house and put into space in the various shelters, workshops and things in the garden. And now's the time to run into those roughly edited photos, trials and video clips. Uh, one of the most important bits was their trip around the NGS gardens that were open for the National Garden Skin Charity. So now into that very rough edited photo trail and video clips. Wednesday the 12th of April 2023 and Toadie's killed a mouse. There's Bentley, there's the poor mouse and there's Toadie in his fort on the left. Projects in preparation of these forts, armed, armed mice guarding. Toadie taken to this one on the left, fort number. Thursday the 13th of April at the scrapyard where our old car has gone. These photos are uh, as much to record memories 
and it makes it that much more powerful if shared openly with lots of people who oh, might be interested in some of it but that's a lovely spot on the edge of Asker and that's the new car well newer lovely bit of wild land and back home that looks as though it's much later in the day yeah looking at the hedgehog coming to eat the peanuts hedgehogs have to compete with each other and also with uh, other wildlife Friday the 14th of April that looks like pub grub day first continue a bit more work the fort number two three rather and there's Richard arriving and we're off that's our trip anybody could see on the spot satcoms tracker to the red line at light water and the project continues there that's toady checking the forts out trouble is he scratched me when I was lifting him up to check things out and that's around the back of it that's the new one taking shape which is fort number three hopefully for Bentley if he takes an interest Bentley from opposite Saturday the 15th of April 2023 and a visit to a garden open for the National Garden Scheme the NGS and this one they had lots of interest in rabbits in fact I think it was a bit of a uh, refuge for uh, rescued rabbits but some of them are quite big and I suspect might have had an attitude probably look after themselves lovely plants of course poppies and lovely coffee and cake afterwards back home toady and the little platform under these cushion so when he's in on it the light goes on which is oh there's Bentley arriving also to check things out so and that light does come up and shows up on the closed circuit TV Sunday the 16th of April 2023 and this was to Long Crendon Gardens over an hour up the motorway and it was a lovely uh, village, which we don't think we've been before, up through the Chilterns. And there were four places open for the NGS charity. And we had a long walk around the village, starting with the first place, which was near the church. Lovely big garden, sloping down. Ponds. absolutely lovely and of course lots of plants coming into bloom now like the daffodils and there's the map of where well, the places that are open and oh yes foxes <laughs> decorated the thatch roof so by now we must be at the second place we visited you'd have to look at the map to see which one's which I seem to know that guy <laughs> after speaking to him Oh, that was nice. The Fairy Crossing. And a large ancient cherry tree. And probably on to the next garden now. Yes, complete with gypsy caravan. Don't know if it's got any gypsies in it. And the garden for food. Vegetable garden. with And that garden sloped down. A little pond and look out across at the sheep including lambs there's that mirror is a quality thing. and then back at the church house for 
coffee and cake before we made our way back to the car and we stopped off at the village of Russell's Water to check out the pond with the fish that have grown one hell of a lot since we saw them many years ago somebody put a lot in and back home with Toady on guard duty that was our trip that anybody could track on the SATCOMS tracker and of course my personal tracker also showed the walk around the village even though the car was left in one place the tracker was on me and back home Monday the 17th of April 2023 it looks like we saw the Bansors oh yes an important letter you'll see more of that later and yes Samantha had a couple of days off there's the letter uh, an update yes you must not drive more details of that are in the public domain for anybody interested interesting conversation with Westminster and the tracker which is in June's car this is the go top tracker second one and guessing what time they'd be back if they come back directly ah oh, look about seven ish meanwhile toady relaxes but in fact they've gone somewhere else i think that was probably butler's heart yes it was meanwhile toady's makes a nuisance of himself Ah, looks like June and Samantha spend a bit of time on the beach. Leap Country Park nearby. And June and I went down there not very long ago. So there's Bentley on the right and Toady on the left. Hello Bentley from opposite. And listening to the Radio 4 News. And keeping an eye on when they're likely to be back. Meanwhile, get on with a few other things. Yeah, I've tidied up the, yeah. Ah, I must have gone down to the bandsaws by the look of it. Yeah, and saw Romeo. Hello, Romeo. And then to the Raj Vuj for Raj and I to have a bite to eat. And then we take what we haven't eaten back. And there's the light showing that Toady is in his little fort. Yeah, we're wondering what time they're going to be back. And looking at the closed circuit TV, there's a fox come for the peanuts. And it looks like they're watching Great Expectations on the TV while I relax in front of the closed circuit TV at the other end of the room. Tuesday the 18th. And yes, the figures are released. You'll see a more detailed video amongst the video clips of our walk around the garden. I had to get my watch strap changed, get it broken. Lasted a few years. That was okay. But of course now, oh, that's June's tracker, the go top, number two. And June's having to be sofa now. Toady having a little sleep. Yes, the robot boat. And where the tracker said it had been in June's car. So the tennis courts earlier in the day and then later. And that's my tracker showing me home. Now they're all video clips. This will show you cat for number one and Toady getting in and the lights coming on. So let me just zoom in on that there and I'll play this here 
and you'll see Toady climbing up and the little light will come on when he goes in and sits on his little bed inside. There it is. That's the light coming on. So that's where we know what time he spends inside his cat vault at night. Local time is 0047 and that's where Tony climbs up, triggers the main security light covering that corner uh, which will go off with time and climbs in onto his little bed inside cat fort number one and the light comes on just there and yeah, there's his eyes so when he's looking out you'll see his eyes good yeah <laughs> as well look at the real thing outside And it needs a bit of tidying up because it was thrown together very quickly when we got back from the trip yesterday. So that's where Toady normally sits and when he puts his weight on the cushion so it comes on and what I'd put in is a little platform there and it's got a little doorbell switch under it. So bit of a lash up so what I've got to do now is tidy that up the wire comes out there so all that's got to be tidied and there's a few other tidying up jobs so this is the result of an hour's hard work and the, you can see I had to strip down for it, it was getting so hot and uh, yeah well, it's a little tidier than it was before with a pole there and the cable routed around from inside and uh, hopefully it still works so if I press this yeah if you can see it in daylight you'll certainly see it at night so now I've just got to clear all the tools away and uh, that'll do then we're find something enjoyable to do like go to an NGS garden or something I've just had a conversation with June and more importantly Samantha who's not driving and that go top tracking is no later than about 12 seconds from their real position and that's them on their route down to the new forest and it updates every few seconds with the latest position and of course we can zoom out on satellite mapping and looks like it just gone over an estuary there or on other forms of mapping so they're just getting close to going into the new forest now Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> That's the spot tracker position on Robin's corner, and we check that, <laughs> but I can tell it's about correct. And that was after swapping over the account, which had the old broken spot tracker on it. So the new one that I took out of the box, I say new, it's been sat there as a spare for some years. And here it is, just in case it rained, I put it under a bit of a cover. So that's it. At that position there, the GPS was tested since the late 1980s. Enough of that stuff. Down the front drive. And we're in this clip on Snoopy the Viking. Yes, looks like I'm going to update the D 
DVLA page. I uh, got a letter come in today and yes it was the important you must not drive letter signed by Tim Burton although I notice that seems to be an electronic signature so it looks as though he's delegated that letter. Anyhow uh, more on that I'm sure in slow time and the right people will investigate. This is the GPS track of our walk around Long Crendon in Buckinghamshire with four gardens open for the NGS charity. So this is the track in 3D replayed on on the PC in the lounge. So we park near the church and then walk around the village through four gardens open for the National Garden Scheme Charity, the NGS. Absolutely lovely village. And at the end of the walk, when we got back after a coffee and cake, June said how far we'd walked. <laughs> Over five kilometer. <laughs> I warned you that it was a rough edit. <laughs> Long photo trails and video clips. But only remains to say, look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy what days we have.